Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Alessandro. Thank you for joining me. And in this video, we're going to be discussing a phenomenon that's called external resorption. Now, hey doc, what is external resorption? So in certain cases that is typically related to trauma, uh, and you may have seen my trauma videos, and I actually did mention external resorption as a potential subsequent complication to trauma. Well, uh, External resorption is when the body stops recognizing the tooth as a part of itself. And then the body sends immune cells effectively to attack it. Uh, so the body's actually attacking the tooth that's been traumatized. Nobody really understands exactly why this happens, uh, but the body no longer recognizes that portion of the tooth and eventually just ends up eating up the whole root of the tooth or the vast majority until it breaks. Uh, so that is what external resorption is. Now, what it clinically looks like to us when we are actually looking at the external resorption physically, that is with our eyes um, and feeling with our instruments, it feels soft, just like a cavity. And it actually looks kind of pinkish. So it's kind of a strange color. And it just kind of looks pinkish. Now, I'm showing you this x-ray and uh, you can see it now in this image. Um, of what external resorption looks like in this case. Now I'm showing you first the image of the trauma and then the x-ray image. Uh, you can see they're not the same case. I'm just giving you kind of an example of trauma that could cause external resorption and then external resorption in a trauma case that I did personally oversee. Uh, and it's an unfortunate complication. There's no real saving this tooth. Um, the top part of the tooth, or what we call the crown, you know, the white part that we all see, that was actually starting to become loose for the patient. And that's how uh, they came back to us to say, hey, we have something going on here. We don't know what it is. Uh, the tooth is loose. Well, yeah, the top part of the tooth was loose. The root was slowly being eaten away by external resorption. The body was attacking the tooth itself and causing it to resorb and causing the top part to get loose. So. Uh, there you have it. That is external resorption. There are other types of resorption, such as internal resorption. That is the other type, uh, and that can happen after trauma. Now, here's something important to note. While it can happen after trauma, you know, big trauma cases that I've shown you in a video, it can happen also with potentially uh, orthodontic care. It's not common, so I don't want you all to get worried, but we do see it sometimes in cases of orthodontics or braces. Uh, so, um, that is a very, very, like I said, very rare, so I don't want you to get alarmed, but it can happen. So I do want to make you know and make you understand that that is something that could happen even if there is no big trauma and even if somebody just had braces. Um, otherwise, it is pretty much limited to trauma. Um, I'm sure there are probably other events where they call it idiopathic, that is they don't know why because there's no, no braces and no trauma. But uh, most of the cases, it is some sort of trauma or physical force acting on the tooth that caused the change that then led to the body not recognizing it and then causing it to reject the tooth as it were and then start to eat away at it. So there you have it. That's external resorption. I appreciate you joining. Thank you so much for joining me and please like and subscribe and I hope you're all staying well and healthy.